So here are a few reasons why I think Ring integrates very well with the Alexa system and why it's one of the most cost effective and one of the highest quality alarm systems out there. Uh, along with a few of my cameras that I have, these trigger a lot of routine set up through Alexa. So this camera right here is hooked up onto a routine with another Ring device, which is the Ring floodlights. If we take a look at the floodlights over here, they will uh, kick on with motion from the driveway along with motion from this side light over here. And right now we have our Christmas lights hooked up with a smart plug from Casa Smart Plugs. And with the Casa plug, when this triggers motion after about, I think, 2.30 when the lights kick off automatically, it'll automatically turn the Christmas lights on for five minutes along with the motion detected from this camera. And uh, it just integrates very well with the Ring system. If we come along over here, we have the Ring lit up light that comes with a solar charger on top. So it's just kind of a nice little display, let everyone know that you have Ring, which is kind of obvious when they walk up and see all your cameras and whatnot. But Ring integrates really well with the camera here. You can use this to set up different triggers of motion as well. So uh, whenever this one detects motion, this camera that's up here watching the side yard will also kick on and record the side. Additionally, this camera will record whenever the driveway detects motion. So if the driveway detects motion over there, this will automatically start recording, which is a nice feature. The alarm keypad is actually just mounted to the wall. It's all wireless. All you have to do is link it to the base station wirelessly the first time and then charge it maybe once every six to eight months. But other than that, it integrates extremely well with any of the uh, Alexa products. So while linking to the Alexa system, you can create routines with any of your other smart home devices. Here's the base station right over here. And this one controls the alarm system, and this guy right here controls the lighting system that I have. Uh, I have some of the Ring floodlights and a uh, few other Ring devices. It all links up through those two bridges right there. So, for example, if I was to say, Alexa, set Ring to Away, this puts it in Away mode. And you'll see all the lights turn off and all the locks lock. So we got a smart lock on the garage, smart lock on the back door, also a smart lock on the front door right here. And it's now in away mode. I usually say that when I have the garage door cracked and I'm walking out the door. So I pull the door shut right after I say it, it locks everything behind me and turns all the lights off. Now if I was to enter my code and disarm it, here's disarm. welcomes me with a little greeting saying welcome home. Another thing, if you're coming in the door, it all links to the smart lighting right here. When you open the door, this light will turn on. So when you're first coming home and it's dark, let's say it's 10 o'clock at night and you're walking in the door, you get a little bit of lighting for five seconds and then that'll kick back off. That's all automatic. Another thing that it'll do, if we come over here and take a look, currently the AC is set at 70 degrees. Alexa, set ring to away. Whenever we leave the house, it'll kick this over to 74 degrees. Not to waste any electricity while you're gone. Again, you disarm the alarm. And it turns it over to 70. Make sure to cool it down when you get home. Additionally, the last step that I have is you set it to home. When you set it to home and arms, it'll kick it up to 74 and it'll turn the upstairs one down to 70. So when we're going to sleep upstairs, it'll keep upstairs cool and keep downstairs a little bit warmer as to save power again. Additionally, when we set it to home and arms, we have a few smart plugs. The smart plugs will turn off right here. So anything that's not necessary to be powered, such as the PlayStation, the TV, things like that, will cut off power completely, not to drain any power. And that's the main thing with the smart home that I love. It locks all the doors for me, it changes the thermostat, does exactly what I need. In the hours of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., that camera there will trigger the lights to kick on. Additionally, they have another camera over here we mounted to the fence. This one will uh, watch all the way up this side yard over here so we can see a pretty good view there and it also shows the back door um, That one's more pointing out towards the yard so we can see out that way But with the solar panel on them, they only get maybe three or four hours of light a day
and they stay at 100% all the time. And I can show you a little bit better close up of the solar panels over here. Kind of see an example, this one's starting to get a little bit of sun today. But I just ran that along there underneath, a little cord that literally plugs into the back and this is just a floodlight. There's no camera on this one. It'll trigger by motion there or it will trigger by motion on this little guy. So if either one of them detect any motion, it'll uh, kick the light on. Works extremely well. And uh, not only does it kick on the lights when we let the dogs out automatically with these floodlights being on a, uh, it's a Casa smart plug, it also kicks it on if there's any motion that's unwanted. So as to provide extra security, not only get the infrared and the darkness, you can actually get a little bit of light out here, start getting some color, which is pretty cool. Like I said before, this is one of the most cost-effective alarm systems out there. Uh, of course, you have to buy all the hardware initially. Uh, some of these cameras, I believe, are about 90 bucks a piece. For the outdoor ones, about $60 for the indoor ones. And uh, then you got the cost of the solar panels, which can be about 60 to 70 bucks a piece. But, with that being said, you mount this up, you hook it up through the app, and you plug in the solar panel. It never needs to charge. It's always charging with the sun. And you're paying $100 for the whole year. With that cost, it covers uh, 30 days of recording, I believe, along with uh, live monitoring for the alarm system. So if alarm's going off, they're going to call the cops and they're going to do all the good stuff for you.